Doing things you can't believe It's a three man week Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back, welcome back Yes, we had a little hiatus But your three favorite guys are back Hill Oh, First you already off, know. You know, already know Hill here. Hill back. You know, Hill gonna heal regardless. Ain't nothing changed, baby. I'm here, baby. <laughs> uh huh. Cannon, let them know what you've been up to. You know, I'm here just grinding as always, watching sports, staying on top of my uh, kiddos at school and doing my thing. Teacher of the year. Huh? And I'm hey, going to is what it is. Uh-huh. My name is AJ L. Presidente, but. I had to get all of this out the way because we have a very, very special guest, the host of Melanin Uncorked. Ooh. Yes. Hey, yes. y'all. What's up? Introduce uh. yourself. Let the people well, know who you are. I am Jazzy B, of course, the host of Melanin Uncorked podcast. Mm-hmm. Thanks for having me, y'all. Oh, we know. Absolutely. So before we get into it, let them, let them know where they can find you. So you can find the podcast on all platforms at Melanin Uncorked. That's Twitter, Instagram. And of course, find the podcast at Melanin Uncork Podcast um, on Apple Podcasts, SoundCloud, and Google Play. Mm. Everywhere. Thank well, you Thanks. already know we on all major podcast platforms: Three Man Weave, Facebook, Three Man Weave, Instagram, and Twitter. Now, Three Man Weave underscore. You can email us at podcast three man weave at gmail dot com. And we about to weave through this melanin, baby. Hey, okay. I like that. I like that. Was- that. Hill, hill, hill. Exactly. And first, you know, before we get started, man, can we send a big congrats to Hill? Yes. For yes, his, yes, his, yes. his new engagement. Mm-hmm. Shout out to the Congratulations. Hills, congrats. congrats. Yeah, retired that jersey. Hill. Appreciate then, it. Appreciate it. Also, you did it the Hill way, too. I had to. You did it the Hill way. Hill is going to always heal, regardless <laughs> in oh, all oh, aspects. He, oh, he definitely healed on that one. Oh. Full yeah. heel, and you never go full heel unless you heal. <laughs> and, yep. Unless you heal. <laughs> and then also we got we got another we got another mm-hmm. uh, you know thing we need to celebrate. Yeah. Cannon, you know, getting that teacher to teacher award. You know, yeah, listen, man. hey, that's big, man. That's what we need. We yeah, need yeah, educators. Man. We need people to continue to work. It's not a glamorous job, but hey, you're doing a good job, and Somebody we appreciate. Somebody gotta do it. Somebody that's gotta stuff. do it. Congrats for that. Right, so you work with my cousin. Who? Oh, Sean. Oh, yeah, Sean, yeah. that's my guy. And you know mm-hmm. what? He's a legit teacher, too. And the funny thing is, Sean and myself, like, we don't, like, I love teaching. Like, I honestly be at work like that. They paying me for this? <laughs> and I, I, there's, there's a lot of teachers that don't make decent money. And, it's like, I, I make decent money. So, you know, it all it's all about your negotiation and you figuring out how to do what you do. So shout out to the teachers out there who actually love teaching. And mm-hmm. that's how you can make a difference. If you don't want to teach, Leave, man. And yeah. then the, the schools mm-hmm. would be better places. Please. Right. Please do not waste these kids' time. Like, Please. So, they behind the eight ball already, especially in the District of Columbia. So, mm-hmm. All right. Listen. Uh-oh. That's great. Got all the pleasantries out the way here. Mm-hmm. I know we, we, you and I spoke a little bit earlier. Yeah. I know you, got a, I, I know you got, a, got a question that you'd like to ask uh, Miss Jazzy B. Oh shit! As it be. <laughs> yeah, you know we we diving right here first and two. All right, mm-hmm. put me on hot seat. And we yeah. and we purposely waited for this because we needed the female voice. Mm-hmm. It was, you know, it's three guys. And, you know, we got the male perspective, and we try to understand the female, but we can't really dabble so much because we don't know. Fact. And I don't want I don't want my toxic masculinity to run everybody <laughs> up because his is by listen I, I, I might I might make a few people mad so I look right. I need to hear your I'm perspective ready. because we did we did ruffle a few feathers with our Cardi B situation I tried mm-hmm. not to we, we y'all did we really tried I mean hey be all right. but listen we I need for you to mm-hmm. explain to everybody make it make sense please make it make sense. Aisha Curry statement, please. Damn, how did I know y'all was going to go here? Oh, you had to know. You should have been way prepared. All right, so here's the thing, right? I feel like what she said made sense. I think that what people aren't understanding about what she said is they're thinking about Steph. Okay, Steph was ready for the playoffs. You want to say this right here, right now. Um, Basically, what she was saying was she wants to be desired. It's nothing that no other woman isn't saying she just said it out loud and she said it on a platform where it made sense if anybody and most most of the people who were commenting never even listened to the whole entire 28 minutes Mm -hmm. or they don't watch red table talk in general 
And I felt like that was the perfect That's space for her to say what she wanted to say. Jada, literally, her whole entire platform is for people to be honest and transparent Absolutely. with the shit that they want to be honest and transparent with. And I feel like as a woman as and as a man, y'all want to know that y'all still got it as men. And women want to know that they still got it. She always see all these joints flocking around her husband. They've been together since they was kids. Mm -hmm. And she may see people, because, you know, people pulled up that dumbass tweet from however many years ago. Yeah. That wasn't even a valid point. Like, you know what I'm saying? Ooh. Women still want to be desired. She just said it out loud. She said what other people have said. I've, I've, saw, I've seen recently a video that Beyonce said it. People are pulling out receipts, of course, after her whole little situation went out. But I don't think it was anything wrong with what she was said. I just think people took it the wrong way. That's a very, very, very valid point that you make. You know, all people, I think, want to know that mm -hmm. someone desires them or people just in general want to be desired. I don't think there's anything wrong with that. But I just feel like if the tables were turned and Steph said that very, very exact same statement, they would kill him. He would be getting slaughtered. I agree with that. He would from be the, a from, sacrificial from, lamb from right the, now. I think the women mm -hmm. would be giving it to him a lot more because, like, oh, you have a great woman at home and this, mm -hmm. this, and that, blah, blah, blah. How and dare so, you imply that she, she doesn't desire you? Exactly. But, but what I, I, I get what you're saying by the fact that they've been together since they were kids, so that is something that she's really never been able to experience. And personally, that's why I really feel like, look, before you can, before you really get married, you gotta have a whole face. I was, oh, I, I, I agree. You know what? I forgot. You, I forgot who that was. I know it's AJ, and I, that was my part two for it, and I was trying to yes. save it, but you know. Oh, my bad. He, my he, bad. AJ's not delicate. Because, because, because to me personally, now. Go ahead. look, you don't really know what you like. You don't really know <laughs> what pleases you. You don't really know what you want. You don't really know what you're looking for. You don't really know. Like, you've never really tapped into everything because you really haven't experienced a whole lot. Because, listen, when, with, when you're within your whole phase, you start to realize, like, you know what? I'm good at this. I like when people do this. Oh, I know that when I'm going through my whole, when I go, like like, this one. When, when, you, when you're going through your whole phase, it's like, look, I know. So even now, it's like, I don't really got to feel like I, I need to be desired. I need to go out and see, like, can I still get women? Because I... I I have fun. My resume, my resume, pretty good. Okay. I yeah. think that people need. To, so, so here's. I don't think that people need to necessarily have a whole phase to figure out what wait, they wait, want. Wait, wait. So mm -hmm. let me let me let, let, let me mm -hmm. let me re like. So when I say a whole phase, I'm not necessarily saying you need to just go out and sleep with every single person mm -hmm. that you can. But what I'm I am saying is go out, experience, date, date yes. multiple people. Fact. Don't don't tie yourself down by just saying oh if like. If like to me, when you consider yourself in the talking phase, you're not dating. You don't owe anybody anything. Nope. Go on multiple dates. Go on to see like okay, multiple who can, people. <laughs> exactly who can do what for you, who does what, and so you start to really understand. Okay, these are my needs. These are my wants. This is what I'm good at. People are desiring me. This is what I bring to the table. This is what people like about me. Mm -hmm. Does she even have whole friends? Like, and I when I okay once again once once we say whole, <laughs> we just using this as. Cause this is a popular term. Mm -hmm. Is not we're not trying to be degrading and disrespectful. No, 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 you the term. But does she even Everybody have friends? Because because most for, most people does they do have a whole friend that they live vicariously through. Yeah. And uh, I don't even know does she even have that. I'm pretty sure she does. She might. I don't, I don't think she out here. Mm -hmm. And I think I, I think people five. are going with her image though because she she portrays this image of this you know I don't want to dress a certain way like you know Absolutely. I think she's kind of breaking but, out of that now but yeah but I think that's one of the reasons why she kind of hasn't gotten the attention that she thought she would but she well, still no, is not getting that she attention. would but she, she just, oh she definitely she probably she got my attention like she Jada said Jada said you're not looking for this attention exactly dude shoot dudes are still gonna shoot dudes are disrespectful right. she ain't checked my DM not once <laughs> <laughs> oh they did too. Oh, they there. Shooters, shoot. <laughs> Shooters gonna shoot. They Steph the only one shoot? No. Nah. <laughs> what? Yeah. I could pull up. God damn. But so this is my thing. I do have an issue with how she handled it, and I and I completely understand. I do too. Not ev not everyone is going to like. She, like she was in a forum where you know they asked for the openness, and that's where you can be completely honest. Mm -hmm. But you also have to take your significant other into account. Yes. Know? I'm never going to. She's not. When, you're a unit. 
Mm-hmm. She's not a single woman, so when she speaks, it's not that she's just speaking for herself. Mm-hmm. When Steph goes out in public, she's a representation of... When Steph goes out in public, he's a representation of his family. Mm-hmm. So it, it's Always. the same for her as well. So if, like, something goes wrong, they are, they are connected. They are combined. So when she makes those statements, Steph's going to see them. Maybe Steph's going to have to answer for them. Those can be used against Steph. But you know what? And, and, and I think that's where a lot of people is going with it. Yes, that, that, that's, that makes them an easy target. However, why are we in this space where we have to keep certain things so closed off in this world? Oh, no. Yes, they're celebrities, like, they're in the limelight, but that's part of the problem. People don't think that they could be open. I promise you they probably already had that conversation prior no. to her even mentioning that on Red Table Talk. You know, and, I, and I'm, not, I'm not trying to kill her for that in, in any sense of, of the nature. What I'm saying is it's just the nature of the beast. It's the world, it's yeah. the world we live in. It's the, it's the social media society. Mm-hmm. So many people, like, at, at one point, so celebrities, they wanted to, you know, feel like they were connected and stuff like that, and it builds their brand. But you also got to take take the bad with it. Social media builds Steph Curry up. It Aisha Curry has over a million followers. It built her brand up. Right. So you got to take the good with the bad. So that's what? So you can't definitely. just say, oh, so when something about the bad that's built you up is happening, you can't demean that and say, oh, why are you guys doing this? Because you're... Giving us access to your life is yeah. what also puts you on this platform. That's true. Mm-hmm. That's so you true. have to you have to take that good with the bad. And so yes, when you give us something, not everyone's going to interpret it in a mature way. That's because that's trust me, I was going to let them jokes fly, but I I got what she was saying. But and, I'm gonna let my jokes fly too. And mm-hmm. I did get what she was saying, but it's all about how you word it. She could have yeah. worded it better. Exactly. And, yeah. and so when you. That's the thing about. But Jada. you can tell she was stuck with her words too, and you gotta Jada remember, Jada was fishing it. a little bit. She Jada was fishing a little bit because yeah. they asked the question, and then she came out with the statement, and then they were all like, "Whoa, whoa, whoa!" Like, choose your words. They kind of tried to clean it up for her. Mm-hmm. I don't think that she meant mm-hmm. for it to come out that way. I I'm think she sure just she was didn't. talking. She was feeling hella comfortable. Like, you know what I'm saying? Let's just say but that, that's a sign of a great me, interviewer. Let me ask you this, <laughs> right? Get that ass comfortable. Your significant other. Mm-hmm. was on a public platform to where lots of people could hear them speak and they said that same type of statement and implied that you, they didn't feel like you desired them or you made them feel like they were desired. How would you or it's not even that? that? But that's not what she said. I'm not, I was, was going to say. I'm not saying that's what she said. But <laughs> okay. That's, that, that's, how would I feel? Yeah, but if, if people took it that way, I would have to choose my words. Interpreting it. Yeah. I would have to definitely choose my words because, you know, when you're in a relationship or with them, they're married, you know, and you're a public figure on a public p- platform, like you said, like, you got to be careful. You got to be mindful. But I still always want to be my myself 101%. And mm-hmm. if the person that I'm with don't know that about me already, then they don't, you that's know what I'm true. saying? That's they ain't it. Right yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. See, that's what we do. So. See, like, what we do here, I ain't mean to cut you off. I'm sorry. No, no, no. Um, you like you said, we, we deal with a lot of quotes, deal with a lot of interviews, and we, like you said, we try to change the narrative. We try to mm-hmm. hit that. We try to say, this is what what's really going on. And what happened was, like I said, she didn't articulate it well. What she what she did what she said wasn't wrong. Mm-hmm. I understand how people felt, but what she did was she said she left it. She left some room for error mm-hmm. that yeah. got misinterpreted. Yep. And you know, social media is going to run with it. Run. And what it did like for it gave way. it gave males. They they pay back. Oh, y'all been bashing us for the longest. Oh, mm-hmm. city girls is out. Y'all didn't yep. hit every right, right. with it. Oh, it's our time. It's our yep. payback time. Mm-hmm. So it gave city us. It gave social media. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it gave us that ammo to go back at you. But what it really should have did would let you go have a conversation with your significant mm-hmm. other Absolutely. and figure this out. Because I had to ask, man. I'm like, what's up? Like, I'm yeah. I'm confused. I still, quite honest, I still don't understand it. To be quite honest, because I'm and- like. But you also have to think, like coming from a male's perspective, when you hear your significant other still say she's desiring attention yeah, from other yeah. men, come on, now. that it. doesn't that Ooh. doesn't necessarily feel that good. Yeah, and I'm so sure. I, I, I understand, you know, like she, like I said, she wants to still know that she has it. But to me, it's like I thought we had something. I but- I tell you you're beautiful every morning. Like if I if <laughs> I'm not doing that, if if I'm not doing that, then yes, I understand. But if I'm doing that and it's still not enough, I'm like, wait a minute. 
And that's part of the problem I have with this whole situation in general is because yes. we don't know what their household is like. Absolutely. We have no people who have this grand, you know, step don't cheat, he ain't in the blogs, he ain't in <laughs> X, Y, and Z. Like black men don't cheat. That whole narrative black kept men pushing. Don't cheat. You, you heard right? that. You heard the song no. about community. You heard the anyway, song. Come on now. Um, you heard the song. So <laughs> Two words. They feel in black. I think that's where a lot of people went wrong. That. You know what I'm saying? They took that and they ran They ran with it. We have no idea what's going on in their household. Absolutely. And even if he is desiring her to, to say, when people post a picture on social media, what they posting it for? The likes. I know yeah. niggas who, if they don't get enough likes, they take that shit down and repost <laughs> it another day or yeah. another time. That's you know what I'm saying? So I think that we're always looking for validation in so many different avenues. We just don't look at it in that aspect. Like us posting a picture, us posting a video, we're posting it for other people to see. Mm -hmm. That means that we're posting it for other people's comments, for other people's validation, for other people's critique, for other people's celebration, et cetera. Like it's just... A great, a great philosopher by the name of Clifford Harris, I believe yep. y'all know him as T.I., mm -hmm. he said... If you live for the cheers, you will die by the booze. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And that was some of the realest shit that I ever heard. And that's I think nice. that's I think that's because what's wrong with that's what's wrong with this entire generation. Yes. Nobody nobody none of us have it together. None of us are really living oh. like we try to portray on social media. And we're trying to keep up with another person who doesn't have it together. <laughs> Instead of just actually and living and trying and, and right exactly and just trying to have fun. And I think that's what's really going wrong. And so now like my like one one thing that I always try to bring up to people is how this whole relationship goes is. So many people when Future and Sierra were together and they was posting these <laughs> pictures and living yeah. happy and stuff mm -hmm. like that and happy, everybody was posting, oh, relationship goals, this, this, yep. and that. And now everybody trying to figure out, oh sis, what was your prayer? What was your prayer to get <laughs> Russell Wilson? Nah, you just wanted a nigga like Future. How, <laughs> like how you how you want Russell? Yeah. I know you can't like Russell and Future because you like if. Listen, if Russell Wilson came up in his Tommy Bahama shirt and his New Balances to you in a club and said, "Hey, hey, sister, can I can I buy you?" <laughs> like, get out of here! Like, what? So, that's the best so, joke, yeah. I'm sorry. And, 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 and so that's my whole thing. It's just like everybody's just trying to go with the trend instead of actually what makes them happy. Find somebody who makes you happy, not just what's gonna get you the most likes being with this person or what's gonna look like it's lit. I'm sorry. Be happy. But I met Russell, man, and he would have said sister with the ER. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. But, but, back to, but, back, but back to what you said, Jazz. You said validation. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And like you said, I dealt with that. Like, you want validation from people. You want validation. You want to make sure everything is good. But even when you're looking for validation, when people that don't even hold that much weight to you. That's that's my point. Like, I'm confused. Like, it was at a, it was at a time that Okay, it was the time that Jazz, your opinion would have, would have held so much weight, and you probably looking at myself like, "Why does my opinion matter that much?" And you you didn't even know it, and that's and that's what I'm saying. But now that you focus, now I'm engaged now, so it's like, mm -hmm. I don't care about nothing else. But what she but got you to gotta think about get me? There. If your house, you gotta is get there. Growth. Yep, that's you that's it. You that. gotta but, get there. And that's and but that was my trepidation about her whole statement. Y'all, you, know, you heard that word? Trepidation. <laughs> my, my, okay, you know, hell. I got the app. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I got the dictionary app. Come on now. You know what I'm saying? Hell but, that was, but that was my thing about it. Like, y'all portraying, okay, like you said, y'all portraying this perfect image. They was calling y'all the first family of the NBA and mm -hmm. doing all this, and y'all doing all that. So, if he's desiring you, that shit only matter. Like, well, who's portraying that image? That's us on them. But that's why I said, but yeah, they're not shooting it down that. either. But that's why I but, said it was interpreted. When you make that statement, it can now be interpreted as that's true. I, I, the desire that I have for you is not the same no more. If I desire attention elsewhere, mm -hmm. or and, or your your gas is not lighting my flame no more. Right. Whatever. And those conversations are important. Yeah. And, and, and what so, I will say is. To go back to something that Hill said real quick is when he said they're not shooting them down. Yeah. That's something that you need to do early on so you don't get into the situation. One thing I always respected about Charles Barkley, I am not a role model. Mm -hmm. Don't look at me. Don't say, hey, oh, look at Charles Barkley. No, I'm flawed. Mm -hmm. So don't like 
Don't follow my footsteps. Even role models are flawed. Except all of them. Come on now. Because like you, you see, Bill Cosby been... in jail. They used they used to be the, that was that was the black father. <laughs> Listen, yeah. right. he ain't he never been my hell. Problems. Like nah. <laughs> I'm about to say, come on now, Clip. Clip. Come on now, Clip. Clip, Clip was Hustle my man. Dog, man. You, back on, when man. he was bouncing little Raven Simone on his knee. <laughs> on the lap. You know I, mean? I was so. You know what I mean? Don't, don't forget, that we all remember that episode. I tried it. We remember that episode. I tried it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. She couldn't hang on, man. He gave it a business. With that. <laughs> he was he was the original rodeo. <laughs> was, let me not say that because I'm yeah, gonna get in trouble. I, please, <laughs> please, I seen you. Don't go, don't go full so, AJ. Yeah, I was I was about to, but we only we only twenty minutes in, so I'm gonna hold full AJ to the till we get a little bit into this. But you think, mm-hmm. player? But what I do want to ask you, because we don't we don't want to just uh, bombard you and ask you a whole bunch of questions about you know. Why men don't understand women and why y'all so confusing to us? And we'll what... never understand each other. Absolutely. I mean, well, first of all, female logic should be a class three oh. misdemeanor oh, <laughs> and boy. a felony, bro. What you, you know, it about? should come with a heavy fine. Like y'all logic is, oh my god! Like y'all logic Ew. makes absolutely no sense. I don't even, uh, and then you hide behind. Y'all the and I then you hide behind. Well, I'm a female. You have to love me anyway. What? Uh-huh. That don't work. Uh, what? That ain't working for Canon. <laughs> and I understand dude logic is stupid. No, it's but it's not. no, no, no. It's but not. It's not. It's not. Sim- it's not stupid. It's simple. It's yeah, very. Yeah, it's yeah, very it's cut simple. and dry. Yeah, it's we're not, we're not very nuanced. One plus we're not one very nuanced. Behind that simplicity too, though. Sometimes y'all hide behind that simplicity and let that be your your go to. Well, you know, I I ain't know. No, you knew. <laughs> You know, you feel, you feel that? Well, okay, well, wait, <laughs> well, wait, okay, but sometimes it's, it go it goes that same way because I can come to you or I can come to my significant other and be like, how did you not know that? But you knew, and you was like, but I just wasn't this, this, and that. Like, nah, like it was very simple. You know me, right? Mm-hmm. So if you know me, you know the signs, you know what's going on. So it goes that same way. And I think what's really, what's really the issue is trying to avoid that difficult conversation. I was about to ask that. So can I ask y'all a question since y'all asked the question about Aisha? Mm-hmm. So Hill mentioned that he had to have a conversation with, with his fiance. And when y'all do, okay, can you guys even sit there? Okay, AJ and Cannon, can y'all have that conversation to be like, yo, am I still lighting your flame? Like, is there something that I'm not doing? Because I think that we get complacent and we go mm-hmm. on the emphasis of, you know, my shorty is happy, so we good. But mm-hmm. sometimes you don't even know or you're not having those difficult conversations where it's like, I know there's some shit been rocky or whatever. I know it's some turmoil going on. How the fuck can we fix this? Or what can I do to light your fire back? And vice versa. Yeah, like I said, I, I got into it about this last night because it's mm-hmm. like sometimes if something, sometimes... You know when things aren't good, but you just kind of just like patch it over and just be like, mm-hmm. it's all right. It, it, it'll just, you drop something. Yeah, sorry. <laughs> <Damn>. <laughs> but nah, you know, you know if something's not good, you try and patch it up, whatever, whatever. But as you just kind of go on, then that they do something else and it piss you off a little bit more. And then it piss, piss you off a little bit more. And then now that one thing has turned to something else instead no of just way. like, look, what's going on? And really mm-hmm. actually breaking things down. I think you really need to be able to. Listen, yes, I know you may be upset. My my thing is I don't like to I don't like to yell, I don't like to cuss and stuff like that. For me, that. yes, if, if you're upset, I understand if we gotta take a step back. But what we need to do is revisit it. And I have to get better at that myself. Like, but it's like, okay, yes, I need to bring this back up now. Like, hey, when you did this, nah, that's not happening. And I think that's one thing that a lot of people do. They just be like, okay, we'll sweep it under the rug and then I I'll move on. And then next thing you know, three months down the line, they repeat that behavior, mm-hmm. and then it really pisses you off because to to you it's like it's been three months and you're still right. doing this behavior, but you never told that person that that was actually something that was bothering. Yeah. That is a fact. I, I that- agree with what you said, AJ. But to your to your question, Jazzy B, um, did I answer? I, it? I, yeah, yeah, you did. did. Okay, I, <laughs> I don't. I don't think that me personally dealing with my significant other that I would want to talk to them about whether they like whether they were still desirable to me or I think I would already know the answer to that. 
No. I don't listen, think so. Listen, nah, listen. you think you might, but let you me, won't. Let me finish. Trust me. Me personally, I consider myself a very observative person. I feel like I'm in tune with things. And I felt like if I was not lighting your fire, I would have figured that out because I pay attention more than the average person. I'm not saying that that's the truth or reality, but I just think I would have known some signs. So like you said, AJ, in your in your statement, you said there are signs, but most times things go unsaid. Now, that's why I agree with part of what you said, because if something is bothering me and I don't like a specific behavior, then I will say, listen, my mother don't ask me what am I doing and want a checklist. So I don't appreciate when you do that. I will say that. So I don't have to worry about three months that's still happening. Then I got to blow up. I try to communicate what I like, what I don't like. I try to understand what she likes, what she doesn't like. But as far as am I desirable to her, I feel like her body language would tell me that. Um, so you saying by the time you can so lay up in bed, fake it with you, and then you, send it to you? I mean, you you can, but the thing about me is like, I, Had it listen, happen. I gave her the best. I get what you're saying. The the core of me is rarely available to that many people. That is like the people who get the core of me. They already know that their time is slim next night. So it's like if you don't want to be with me, then just let me know. I'll roll. I'm cool with severing the ties like that. You feel me? So it's like, no. some people aren't. Some people some will people hold on to a they, toxic they will. thing, and, and, they'll, and, that, and that's why. And that's another reason why so many people go. get. That's why so many people get cheated on because so many people are trying to hold on to something, mm -hmm. and try, that's that's, that's not necessarily good for them. And next thing you know, they creeping out, and then they get distant, and so the other person start creeping out, and then now you got two. You got two people cheating on each other, yep. sticking around for no apparent reason no when they reason. just mm -hmm. don't want to move on. I think because you know, it's familiar. I don't want to like speak for you, but I think what you're saying. By the time I ask this question, it's already too late. It's already too late. So I, that's what I thank that's you. What I, so, but I, thank but you, but my my <laughs> question back to you because I think that that's good that you're saying that you're very intuitive and you pay attention and you're super observant. I think that's a lot of what we lack in our generation of dating in this, in this mm -hmm. world yeah. is people being observant to their other person, what? whether that's your significant other, to, a person that you're fucking dating, whatever the case may be. That's the huge part, is not communicating. But, Canon, I think that, I don't think that there's anything wrong with asking a person, even after no, noticing Me the either. signs, Me are you, am I, not necessarily, am I still desirable to you, but what are some things that I could do better? Because that's still asking, how can I, you know, light Absolutely. your fire? How can Absolutely. I continue to do it? What are some things that I can improve on? What are some things that I'm doing well at so I can continue to do it? Mm -hmm. We do this shit with kids. Like, when they continue yeah. to do yeah. something great, yep. we reward them with that behavior. When they're not doing something, we're reprimanding them for that behavior. Mm -hmm. So, I, it should be the same way in a relationship. What am I doing Absolutely. good? Now, what can I, I improve agree. on? I agree. You should be asking that all the time because you go through stages in relationships. Like, you're never this, you're not the same yeah. person year one because that you are you year know. two, yeah. year five, year seven, year 20, like... You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I don't know about that one. But. You she, she ain't, look, she up there capping talking about year 20. <laughs> <clears throat> I ain't even close. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, I just, you know, but no, it, that's, but, those are very, very good points. And I don't want to think, want y'all to think that I was completely off. I think Hill was able to sum up what I was trying to say yeah, is that I, caught it. I try to pay that much attention to where if – like Hill said, if I'm asking you this, then we in trouble. Yeah. We, we in I, trouble. And I would have already tried to figure out before because, like I said, I pay attention. When I did that, she didn't like that. Like, I got, I got to stop doing that. Mm -hmm. I you know. I try to make a conscious effort. But communication is key. And, you know, that's that's one of my flaws, you know. You know what, Cannon? Something that, that you I, just said kind of kind of brought something up to me and one thing that i think uh, that is wrong with a lot of the relationships now no one really wants to admit fault at something mm -hmm. they they just want to be like okay i'll get defensive but you did this yeah that was me. so if, if if i if i if, if i do something and you come at me about it instead of just saying well you do this and you when you do that i don't like it blah 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 instead of just mm -hmm. saying okay yes i i apologize for that what would you like me to do in the future? Or, yes, I won't do that in the future. That's how things start to build and fester because now it's like, oh, so you've been holding this in the whole time. Yeah. 
Yeah. And so now, and so now you butt heads instead of actually having an actual productive conversation. And I think that's where things really, really falter is actually having productive conversation and getting things fixed. We listen right. to respond, not to hear. Like it right. takes a exactly. very strong person to sit here and be like, yo, I'm going to fully listen to what it is that you have to say. And I'm not even going to respond to it. I'm just going to take it in. Like yeah, that I, takes I, a strong I person to do that. I got listen, I, I was going to say, that's I here. that person. <laughs> why is it? So listen, <laughs> why is it? How come females don't say what they mean? Why would you tell me yes if you mean no? Bruh. Bruh. Like what? Give me an example. Anything. Like if I say, listen, listen, I got to I gotta go to work. I know we were supposed to get up, but something came up. I got to do, run a few errands after work. I'll oh, be that's there fine. at 930. Is that cool? <laughs> then when I get there at 930, you got an attitude because I was really supposed to be here at 7. But you told me it was cool. Listen, I could have just told them we'll do that another day. I could have been here at seven, but you said it was cool, and now it's issues. So I, should, I should go get my fiance. It's funny because I was <laughs> I was watching a movie today, and the woman end up you know conforming basically to something that the guy wanted that she didn't want to do. And in my head, I was like, "Yo, women do that all the time." So I think part of that is because maybe she didn't know that there was an option with seven or nine thirty, and not wanting to nag or feel yeah. like you know what I'm saying. <laughs> Damn, I, can I, I don't want to say. No, because he's telling me that he has something to do, which clearly means that this other thing is just as important if he's trying to put what we had already planned off. It's, I know, AJ, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead, AJ. <laughs> I'm go saying, ahead. If you can sit there and say, oh, what he has to do is actually important, <laughs> why do I, I have an attitude? Like, why do I have to come home to an attitude? If, I, if, I'm, coming to, if I'm coming to you and I'm saying this... <laughs> This is because for me personally, I'm not going if, if I make plans with you, I'm not going to just intentionally just say, hey, let me boot this. Yeah, because my lady's not that important. Let me boot this. I, yeah, I got time. She'll be understandable. No, if it's actually something that's coming up in this time slot, it's for a reason. And if so, if you can tell me you understand, oh, well, maybe he's busy. Don't like I'm not trying to walk into an attitude, especially if I had a meeting or something. You never know. They could have kicked my ass in this yeah, meeting. Come I'm on, coming back. You know, plenty times. I'm, I'm on, trying man. to come home and be like, oh, hey, baby, how was your meeting? Yeah. I'm not going to just come home and turn your yeah. shoulder on. <laughs> I'm trying to rub on your booty and be like, mm, how was your meeting? <laughs> no, like, let's talk. So I, I totally get it. I to I've been there. I've been that person that had an attitude after saying yes. But I think even in that conversation, being like, yo, are you sure? That this is fine. Like, I don't want to come home to no shit. Like, mm -hmm. are you sure mm -hmm. this is cool? That's because not, I have to do X, Y, Z. That's not going to fly, Jazzy. That's not going to fly. I know. Fly. I know. Cause, I'm trying. Because men would be like, are you sure, baby? You sure? You sure you're good? That I, you know, like, yeah. I, I, like, and they're like, no, it's fine. You know, yeah. I, I'll see you another time. You know, we can we can reschedule. And you'd be like, baby, look, if you want me to, I can just tell them, no, don't worry about it. You'd be like, no, go ahead. Do you. Yeah. And then you, I still come home to yeah. attitude. Like, whoa, that's whoa, whoa, that's whoa. That's what wait, I don't. That, yeah. Mm -hmm. When I come home now, and then you got beef, I don't even care. Oh. You already know. Listen. Oh, well. PS4 is on now. <laughs> Channing's doing him. Yeah. Headphones. I, listen, I got three-man weave work. I got some editing to do. Something. I don't do no editing for something. three-man weave. But look. <laughs> I got something. Something to do. Because I didn't tell you, this is per I, I tell all, oh, this is personal. Oh, this ain't nothing I can do about this one. This is, you'll figure it out. I didn't try it. But I you didn't know try what, it. though, too? Because mm -hmm. I'm thinking about a time where... um okay, I have plans with this person and then they had to cancel on the plans. In my mind, I did so much just to make sure that I put forth time for this person and then they came through with these other plans. So yeah, I was a little salty. That's you different. know what I'm saying? Because you know, I've done some things on my end. You know what I'm saying? I 100% understand, you know I'm saying? I 100 understand when, when I When I bring it to you, so let's just say, for me, for an example, there was, there was I'm just saying, Say I, I have another business, right? We do sports mm -hmm. contracts. Say I've been trying to land this deal. I've been trying to land this deal, and they've been blowing me off, right? Mm -hmm. And so me and you, let's just hypothetically me and you, we got a deal. Mm -hmm. I'm supposed to pick you up and everything, and it's supposed to be at 6 o'clock. Mm -hmm. And then these people send me an email at 4.30. It's like, they're in town. Uh, they, mm -hmm. They've been trying to get back with me. They got an hour and a half for me if I could meet them at this hotel. And mm -hmm. so I'm like, dang. Let me call Jazzy B. Like, listen, mm -hmm. I, something came up. I know this is important, but if we could just push it back, it's supposed to be six. Can we do seven thirty eight ish? And if you say no, then I'm just gonna take that air. I'm gonna be like, unfortunately, it's short notice. I would still love to politic with you all, 
Hopefully, we can make it happen in the future. And I will so and I will honor my date with you. You see, what so I'm you wouldn't be salty? No, I would not. I would not be salty because I understand that I hmm. already committed. I understand, okay. which is why I was asking. I wasn't telling. I didn't call and say, "Look." It's going to be at 7.30 instead of I, 6. I have an issue with what you just said, Cannon. Because th if that's your business, yeah. and she can't understand something about your business, that's not the one for you. Because if we actually supposed to be trying to build it... That was just a hypothetical. I didn't that. I will 100% yeah. understand yeah. that. But if, like I said, if you're trying to land this contract... Yeah, she needs to be should, on my side. She should, yeah. she oh, should, yeah. know, she yeah. should know that, first of all, because she should know, like, hey, you know, you're an independent business owner. You own your own business. So... This meeting can bring you money. This meeting can be something that pushes you to the next level. So if she can't understand that, she's not the one you need to be trying to build an empire with anyway. You're right. So You're right. so to me, personally, if it comes for business, you have to understand. I'm not about to just be, oh, I'm about to go to a happy hour with my coworkers. But right. if it's something that's gonna bring, if that's my, something that's, if it's gonna bring in some most revenue, of my reschedules is for business. I'm, I'm, I don't, yeah, I'm, I'm never I'm gonna reschedule. reschedule for another leisure event if I had something planned with you. <laughs> I'm not remember, about to paintball with Hill, and we were supposed to go out. Like, come on now. Remember what I remember? What I told you the other day about how to professionally, you know, tell people what you're available for, Cannon. Yeah. <laughs> and, and so, and, and so, I think that's another way that you can do it. But sometimes, when it comes to your money, not everybody's gonna have that same amount of availability. So you need to realize, like, look, hey, I tried to let them know, like, hey, these are the times that I'm available. They, you know, but this is the time that they are available, yeah. and I really need. Yeah. And so, I need you to be flexible. So we could possibly and be flexible. I would, and I would hope so. And I would hope so. But you know, in reality, that ain't going to be the case, AJ. Playing devil's advocate, though. Yeah, yeah. yeah. No, I, no, I'm, I'm talking about, about me. Oh, okay. It's a lot of oh, fake meat going on out here. Yeah, yeah. it is a lot of fake meat. A lot of fake meat going on out here. What are you saying? And that's what Hold on. Y'all remember this? And two could play that game? I was working late. I was working late. I was working late. That's why they don't believe none of that. You see what I'm saying? But I think if, again, going back to communication, if that person yes. already knows that you got a million and one things going on at any time, shit could just happen on the fly. They got to be a hundred with that. Now, we do, exactly. get in, we do get in moments where we feel ourselves, where we upset, where we type because, you know, we already have plans or whatever the case may be. But that goes to, look, babe, I wouldn't do this if I didn't have to. Like, I make it exactly. up to you, whatever the case may be. Right. So, like, you know. me personally, I do consulting. So, I, on the drop of a hat, Probably like two months ago, they they told me, hey, it was Friday. They said, hey, can you be in Chicago on Monday? What? If you tell that to some, if you tell that to your significant other, oh, I gotta go to Chicago Monday, and they've never heard anything about this, they gonna that, can sound, yeah. that can sound kind of crazy. Yeah. And I'm mm -hmm. so I'm in Chicago for a whole week, yeah. but you really have to be open and communicate and understand and be like, okay, hey, this is what I'm doing. This is what I do for a living, and not really be afraid. Like you need to really let them know and let them be in on your on your life. You have if, if this is what you if you're serious about your relationship, y'all should share a life. You should be open. So it shouldn't really be anything where it's like, oh, I didn't know that's like I shouldn't get on the phone with you and you'd be like, oh yeah, such such such. Wait, you did what? When'd you do that? I never knew. No. Nah, we right. should really have an open communication because everybody. Everybody's phone is in their hand in this generation. Always. Mm. So you should like Always. there should not be a, a time where it's like, oh, yeah, I just got back from here. It's like, well, damn, when'd you do that? You know what, what I'm that? saying? AJ, can I tell you something real quick? I was disappointed when you told me you was going to Chicago on Monday, man. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, I was disappointed too. You wanna know how much my ticket cost? <laughs> they reimbursed me, but I don't I don't live that life, bro. I could just we, I could just we have plans, bro. I know. Plans. I know. I was so upset, and I, but it was cool. But back to like what AJ said when when he was when, when rewind when he was talking about the whole phase, mm -hmm. and you learning, you having fun, Let's you communicating. Mm -hmm. It's like you gotta learn from your past. Like you gotta learn from your past relationships or your past dealings with people. Like oh, that brings up a whole nother. Well, at least like, try to. I mean, yeah, you definitely got to try to because eventually you might have been the problem. Like, so yep. exactly. you got to figure that out. A lot of times you. So it's a whole like, like for me personally, like I don't, I ain't never got back with none of my exes. Like, mm -hmm. none of them. Like, I might have, you know, dibble dabbled. You know, but yeah, I'm yeah, about to say. Yeah. Yeah. But I ain't never got back with them because I'm like, it's the reason why we broke up. Mm -hmm. Now I got to be real with myself. And like, what did I do right here to figure this out? You know what I'm saying? What did I do wrong? Okay, don't do this the next time. You know what I'm mm -hmm. saying? So yes. I remember I used to hold my last one. I used to hold in everything. Like, yeah, I'm, you, yeah. I yep. ain't, nah, I ain't talking, bro. I'm like, nah, bro. And then when I, I was, when I, I finally I say something, 
I will blow up, like yep. blow yep. up. Mm-hmm. So I'm like, nah, I ain't holding that nothing now. Like I be talking, like <laughs> I show up. I'm, boom, I'm in the office. Me in the office. I go in the office. Boom, me and you. Hey, yeah, hey, I say this right quick. Boom, uh, I text it. Hey, this how I'm feeling. Boom, but I ain't mm-hmm. holding nothing in. And I think, and I think that's another issue it's because yeah, so many. Right. People, I'm in peace. A, yeah. <laughs> a lot, a lot of this generation thinks they're perfect. Someone else should should just wait for them. I I, I would say that oh, I'm worth it. Just got to deal with me. Nah, yeah, no. You need you need to fix your you need to fix your shit. Exactly. And to me, and to me personally, if if you have been in multiple relationships and you haven't changed anything from your past relationships, whatever you in now is not gonna work. Because you're not perfect. So you need to realize, okay, a self-assessment is probably one of the hardest things that you can actually do is because it, you have to sit there and dig in yourself and be like, this is where I messed up. That you shouldn't know? be the I, hardest thing, bro. But Exactly. But a lot of people don't want to admit fault. That just goes back to what I was saying earlier where people don't want to people don't want to say, oh, I was like, people don't want to admit they're wrong. They just try to fire back. So when it goes like, oh, this didn't work out, it's because... That person did something. Even when people cheat, people cheat and be like, oh, well, it's because you didn't do this. Yeah. No, mm-hmm. it's because you didn't have the discipline to say, hey, yeah. I don't like what you're doing, you, you, and I'm either going to step away or you're going to fix it. And even if you don't like what they're doing, you could just say, listen, I, I'm just not feeling it no more. You could, it, mm-hmm. It's not anything that you're doing. It's nothing I'm doing. I'm not feeling it. And you could tell the person fairly before you cheat on them. Like I don't understand why people, people only cheat because they want their cake and eat it too. Let's, yeah. let's be honest. Cheaters are mm-hmm. kind of greedy, man. I've always hated that saying. And honestly, the cheating don't got nothing to do with the other person. They got more so to do with you. They don't have nothing to do with the person who you're cheating on. It's you. So, so because cause personally, because it's easy. It take it takes a lot to have sex with somebody. No, it don't. Sometimes. No, 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 no. I'm talking. I'm talking about if you if you're in a relationship. You don't just like I've I've heard people just say oh it just happened no nah, no nah. sex just don't happen it didn't just happen right. so <laughs> even on even even on a one night st- no 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 even, even on still, a one that's night that's a like, too bro bro <laughs> even on a even on a one night stand it just don't happen you still gotta actually open up to this person mm-hmm. you either gotta pursue that person or allow that person to pursue, pursue you, you. Yep. and so you can't just say oh it just kind of happened we had no 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 you if you are if you are truly committed you'd be like nah. Nothing, nothing anyone can tell you, even if they say, oh, you can't have friends. Nah, we good. Mm-hmm. You you are able to shut that stuff down. Yeah, exactly. So you don't let it get past a certain like point. Don't cheat, baby. You know what, though? I think that part of the problem is people don't know how to be vulnerable. And I'm speaking for myself, too, because I, <sighs> vulnerability is very hard for me, which is why I don't get into, like, if I'm in a relationship, it's because it took me a minute to get there. Absolutely. But I, I think in a relationship, like, easy. If we are vulnerable and vulnerable even meaning now in this space where I don't care what you think I'm doing what I want or I'm doing what I have to do for me because I'm in a vulnerable in a vulnerable space like it shouldn't matter what you think about what I have to say or what I'm doing or anything because I'm completely vulnerable and open with myself that I'm okay with whatever it is that I'm doing and I don't really need the you know the other people or the other party Whatever they care about, I don't even know if that part makes sense. But y'all get what I, I'm saying. I, I, I get what you're saying. Here, let me see. Let me see. Let me see if I can translate that for you. A okay, bit. thank you. By, it's a by, lie. You, <laughs> by you saying you're vulnerable, what you're saying is you've kind of just opened yourself up and you're giving all of yourself to this person and saying, "Here, here's me, good, bad, ugly, whatever. This is who I am. Can you accept me that way? And if you can, and you can notice that I'm giving this Maybe to you, to please, be a therapist, man." Bro, I'm telling. Listen, can you yeah, give can, can, can you that, can right? you give that back to me? Yep. So that way we can both be comfortable in this situation. Because if one person is vulnerable and the other one person is guarded, ugh, that's that's, that's a, gonna that's be hard. A, that's a recipe for disaster. So, okay. mm-hmm. all right, in that in the last episode that I recorded yeah, with Inca Bay, it was the oh. polygamous lifestyle episode, right? Yeah. We... One of the things. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah, I one of the. Oh, <laughs> I was hoping you didn't break this up. No, 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 no. Yeah. I don't want to. One of the things that I appreciated with even his conversation and and we, whatever, is him stating that he is vulnerable regardless. Like, you know what I'm saying? If I sit here and tell somebody I love them, that's on me. I can do that because I'm okay with myself. I'm not sitting here expecting for that other person to sit here and tell me that they love me back or for this person to understand what it is that I'm giving them. I'm giving you me because I'm 100% okay with myself and comfortable with myself. And I think if more people acted in that sense, 
they will be okay. You know what I'm saying? They will be okay because we usually are saying things, expecting certain things in return, not necessarily Man. saying it because we got to get it off our chest and this is how we feel. Man, you be repeating everything I said because I told Kenan the other day, you can't do things yes. expecting people yeah. to do it back to you. And I it, never it won't do. work. I wasn't saying you, that. You, I was really, that. you really have to do things for your own and if and like I said, that's and that's true. another that's and that's true. another thing that causes a lot of issues with relationships now is because men and women, we're also on different timelines. Sometimes uh, for for a woman, okay, we've been talking and dating and going and doing this. Okay, it's three months. What you about to do? Should I get off the pot? As a man, it's like, hold on, wait a minute, wait a minute, baby. You know, I'm just yeah. saying, I'm trying to figure, I'm just trying to figure out if yeah. I even like you enough. I mean, yes. your listen, pot, listen, this pot, that listen, pot, like you know what I'm saying. Right like, like, relax. like, hold on, like I got a whole bunch of uh, uh, eggs in this basket that ain't hatched yet. Like, let's let's count them. You know what I'm saying? I got multiple pots right now, baby. Exactly, chill, chill. And, I, and I think, and that and that goes back to our situation, our conversation about having a home phase. Yep. Mm -hmm. You have to, or just dating the right way. Like when you're and, dating the right way, also, you're dating multiple. Also, 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 what I can say is women ain't slick because women they have multiple men, but they try to put pressure on that one man mm. that they like. Mm. Baby, because you always like someone. One person always means more than the other people if you're dating multiple people. Ab it's rare that all of them are on the same level playing. Absolutely, but don't don't act don't act like there's no. See, that's the thing. It's all about honesty. Because yeah. for me personally, if we're just talking. And I ask you, oh, oh, am I the only like, it, like, so if I'm getting, if I'm starting to feel for you, and mm -hmm. I ask you, so are you still dating anyone else? And you say no, but there's still people around. Then that's a that's a red flag because to yep. me, you can't be honest with me when you don't owe me nothing. Nothing. You don't owe me anything. You don't owe but, me any explanation. You don't have to hide no, anything from me. AJ, that is my problem stuff. with men. Bro, though. like literally, no, I, that's my problem with women. No, that's my problem but with that's, men. That's just no, people. That's that's women. Okay, let's say people. I'm trying to tell you. <laughs> okay, that's people. Okay. people. Okay. Because okay. go back to what okay. you said okay. Real, okay. real quick, AJ. You just said like you, you want to answer that question like, you know, uh, I, I'm, I'm starting to get serious with you. You know, are you still going to keep these other people around? And she's like, they, they done. But People have lied for less, man. Mm -hmm. You can ask somebody like, bro, how much change did you get out the store? And they know they got five dollars, and they'll tell you a, a dollar, a, a dollar and fifty cent, man. Oh, I like, I like homeless because. niggas all the time, so, man. They ain't got it, no it, cash on me, bro. Saying? And so now, when you're talking about someone telling you something that that will leave them vulnerable, um, they're gonna lie more times than not because it's survival of the fittest, and that's just your natural but, but, way but. to protect yourself. Okay. Okay, but but let me ask you this. If I have you on the top of my list of like, hey, I'm actually liking you, but I'm still unsure where things are going to go, so I may have a little something on the side, but if I'm liking you and I'm telling you, look, you know what? Are you serious about me? We don't necessarily have to put anything on it right now. We can still get to know each other or whatnot, but I want to know what I'm stepping into. If you if like if you got an ex in the picture or you got someone that you feeling a little bit more than me, it's perfectly fine. I can act accordingly. Cause I for me person for me personally, it's like right I don't I don't mind like talking to you if I enjoy being around you and you are dealing with someone else. But if you telling me, okay, we are on the same wavelength, I'm feeling you, you feeling me, and we want to possibly work to something else, then that's when I have an issue if you still not being honest with me. Because now me next thing you know, me too. Where'd this come from? But as a woman, right, how do you even have that conversation? Because I think that sometimes men shy away from those what are we doing conversations. Yes, you know what I'm saying? Like I, I hate those. It, but I if, I, I, I'm like, trying, if I'm trying to figure mean, out, if I'm trying to figure yeah, out if we're on the same level, <laughs> you stupid. Not, if I'm trying to figure out if we're on the same everybody. level playing field because I fuck with you. I need to know, you know what I'm saying? Do I need to still keep these other niggas in my pocket or can I start to invest more time into you like are we on the same page so maybe the what are we doing phrase that way may be fucked up or stupid yeah I, but I, I think it along is. those think it lines is. of saying yo you know what i'm saying and what see, is that's... where is this and, and that's, where is I this think, going I think, I think women like said, have a hard time right. asking those questions because we don't what, know what we're gonna get in return what you really need to ask is not what are we what are we doing what are your intentions? What right. do you see? What are your plans? If you plan mm -hmm. on just being friends and That's a better question. We, we, we fuck, you call me after the club and you know, whatever. Or if you're like, nah, I really like you. I would like to see where it goes. I am talking to other people, right. but you are my priority. If I'm, ha if, if I got, if, if I'm scheduled for an appointment, 
at seven o'clock, but you call me and be like, hey, what are you doing tonight? I, I, I got some free time. I would like to see you. I'm going to come see you instead. Oh, <laughs> OK. But no, no, that's real because that's I honest. I ain't yeah, but that's what I'm saying. That's honesty. Said, and so boy. you have to. Yeah, them issues, I ain't had that. I go here first. Yeah, yeah like, you do. <laughs> from, the, from the jump. Yeah. Like, hey, what's up? Yeah. Like, what, what we about to the do? Fir- the first day. Yeah, that's what, yeah. yeah. We figure yeah. this out. Yeah. Then we can go. You know what I'm saying? But we, yeah. But I, I think if more jump, people are honest with, yo, I fuck with you. You up here, but I still talk to other people. I think if people just said that, it would be okay. Because you don't even know if the other person is on the same page as you. They may be like, that, all right, cool. But that's what, and that's what I'm that's saying. That's where I'm like, at, too. Let, let me know. And just because you say this, uh, like, you have to be mature enough to not get in your feelings and be yeah, like, oh, absolutely. she's still, you, why, you still, why you still got to mess around? And most dudes. That's why I'm asking that question. Yeah. I ain't asking so, that question. Yeah, because dudes can't take that. Yeah, y'all oh, want no, us I'm, to take that, but y'all I, I, can't I, take it. Yeah. Oh, no, I can, yeah. I can take it. I, 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 and that, I, I, y'all I, I, can I, take it. Truth. I ain't asking it. I ain't asking it. I'm not about to sit here and be like, yo, I'm like, yeah, you still talking to other dudes. Yeah, I'm still talking to Dante. No, no, I slap Dante when I see him. I, <laughs> and I don't want to see you and Dante because then I really might I see. I really might slap him. Put I'm, hands that's on what I'm saying. I, I don't, don't tell I, me not. Personally, you see what I'm saying? I don't, don't tell care. me. Lie also, to me. That, go, that goes back into my whole face because I know, like, listen, I can't, I can't, that. I can't, I can't ask you to do something that I'm not willing to do. So if I'm like, because I'm I perfectly fine, single or in a relationship, mm-hmm. because if I'm single, I'm gonna have fun. But if I'm if I'm in a relationship. It means I want to have fun with you. Right. So to me personally, yes, I'm gonna ask because I need to know: should I continue? Can I? Should I go out still doing whatever I do, or should I realize, okay, I need to take your feelings into account because I actually like you? Because if if, if it's not that, when you ask me what are we, um, I know what I'm doing. <laughs> see, nah, see, I, I know told what... you what we was doing, and now you got an issue. Now because now, issue. now I guess people always say, oh, you know, what are we? And people want to start off as being friends with benefits and stuff like that. If you it's can't like handle it, it's awesome. fine. You're not the only, like, you, like, you, I, like, we can still be friends or whatever. I can cut you off, whatever the case may be. That's fine. You're not going to hurt me. I don't want to hurt you because I don't want nobody going around saying, oh, that he ain't shit, blah, blah, blah. Nah, I it's, it like, I, they are. I'm they not are. shit. They're gonna say it's not for you. No, I figured it out. Figure why I didn't answer these questions. Jazz got the question for you. This is gonna be my last question. Do y'all do y'all research? What you mean? Do y'all do y'all research on this the individual that either talked to you or yeah. the person that you're trying to talk to? You ain't know the females was FBI agents. They, we do it. No, 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 no. Well, I, I, I can't. I can't agree with that. I can't agree with that. I can't agree with that. Information. Because how I approach, so how I approach each, you, 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 everybody can check my history, my history. How I approach you. It's based off my research. Mm-hmm. If, if, I, if you didn't talk to like a whole bunch of the bros, oh, yeah. how I'm coming at you, it like every other every other bro. But if I come at you like correct and like I'm about to take like I'm about to take you out the game, AJ table for one. That's because I'd have done my research and your, mm-hmm. your you know what I'm saying your whole facts came back. Oh, so you're talking A1. about the research for how many people you not you necessarily fuck how fuck many people not necessarily not how necessarily many, that, but I don't care about that. Who? But yeah, who? Yeah. That's that's important. And so, how they ha- and how they handle the situation as well. So that's what I'm saying. I'm, so I'm not asking you. Well, his intentions already ready. Off the rip. Yeah. Like I said, once I did my research and had a shot, and I didn't did it. That's why I'm coming. So I don't care about. That's why I don't care that's, about. That's good advice. I'm gonna try. But that's that. different, yeah. Hill, because that. a lot of dudes don't even go in full blown with intentions, letting you know, like, yo, what's up? Like, I'm oh. trying to fuck with you. Fuck with you. Whoa, see, I didn't see, I didn't, I didn't Steve Harvey you. <laughs> see, I just gave you the game. <laughs> I just gave you the game. You didn't even want it. You didn't even want it. No, so, they are coming. <laughs> they are coming to see. They came in. That's what I'm saying. How they approach you is based off based off the research. Right, 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 right. And I mean that is what it is. I'm telling you. But, I mean, but, but what I will say here is the average guy does the research, but they don't. They they only done half the research. That's, and that's, that's, that's where I was going. That's on the other person. You have yeah. fully done the research on yourself and that's okay. what the average man is avoiding himself altogether. Right. Right. And he don't even know what he wants. And right. so that's when you get asked about. that question, what are we doing? You you give that stupid answer because <laughs> you really don't know because you, you're stupid. Like, you're, <laughs> you're, you're it's a part of being a man. Like, <laughs> you know, and, 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 and I honestly i am guilty of that myself. And that's why I literally just said when you said that, I'm going to try that. 
you know, going forward. I'm going to get my daggone intentions together, and I'm just going to lay them out there, man. I'm going to try that hell. Because, I mean, I'm not saying I'm a, you know, I'm not a saint. Like, if I, if my whole intentions was to just smash, just say that. I'm, I'm not, no, I've, I'm not smooth enough to just say it. Ah. I, mean, I was never just smooth enough to just say it. Oh, you but was. my intentions was. I knew how my attitudes were. And, but, don't, sell, don't sell yourself <laughs> short, man. But like I'm saying, but like I said, my history has shown. Check my history. And mm-hmm. if you ask my past, you can facts. see it. You can you, you can see the same track record. But that's because you've always known your intentions. That's you see what I'm saying? Okay. See? And, yeah. and, and see, most people different. don't. And so they come in there and then they 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 shoot their shot. Just winging it. Yeah, and then they don't even know what they want. Like they shoot their shot yep. and they got them to, she hitting them up tomorrow and he like and she blowing me. I, I, I don't even know why I gave him my number. <laughs> And that's all. That's also you gotta be. You gotta be selective on how, it, like, what you do and how you come off in the beginning. Because if you are actually just trying to get this and add this to your resume, mm-hmm. it may not be worth it. Don't, don't, don't give her wifey vibes in the in the beginning. Back. So, oh, if I'm just trying to hit, hey, look, baby, I might not even talk to you in public. Right. Mm-hmm. If you're just trying to fuck, then don't do all the things that you know. A person in a relationship or fucking with somebody hard body would do. Exactly. Just, I'm not. Just, I'm not about to. Her. I'm not about to wine and dine. You know what? You right. come over. I'm about to be like, hey, what you trying to uh, put on Netflix? You not hey, staying just, the night, like. Yeah, like no, we not gonna cuddle. Look, <laughs> sometimes it works. Like sometimes y'all forcing the hand. We may have to go to the big Joker. Like. <laughs> but that. Like, but I say, but you only pull the big Joker when the little Joker on the table. When it's something that you really want, but you need this book. You need this book. You. That's when you pull the big Joker at. Just saying, man. Sometimes that Ace of Club may walk, like. You know. But Jazz, Jazz, where do you live at? What? Like, don't give your address. You in Richmond? I about to say, uh, mm-hmm. yeah. yeah, we not, we not pulling up to Richmond. I mean, we could. All right, she come on, Hill. Up, I'm always in, in Maryland, though. Yeah, That's what we say. We trying to see. We yeah. see next time. We trying to do this again. We trying to hide the wine like you normally do. You know, hey. say so we trying to give you the full ambiance. And you know, say next time. This man week. is pulling out all the words. Nah, I told you, I'm down with that. It's just you know, weekdays are. I'm out here, we, y'all are out there. Yeah, for the weekend, a, we, we can, can make it work. Or we'll we can do a holiday. You know, y'all want to come? Y'all want to? Y'all want to come to Florida? No, AJ, you moved to Florida and shit changed and shit. <laughs> <All right. laughs> Even she know. Damn. <laughs> All right. But, um, oh, this worth a try. Yeah, we gonna try this again because you know we got way. We we definitely not gonna figure everybody out in the hour. Yeah, we you know. Nah. We gonna we got some more questions. Mm-hmm. Some more topics gonna hit. Oh, and, I you still know. got plenty written down. You know, and we're gonna get to them. You know, Jazz, let them know where you're from. Where you at? Where, where all your all your stuff. Well, I am in Richmond, of course. I ain't from here, but mm-hmm. this is where I stay. Okay, um, don't, vote. <laughs> don't start. You know, I still don't like <laughs> Richmond like that. Um, but yeah, like I said earlier, follow me on all platforms. I didn't say my website. I do have a me- website, melaninuncorked.com. Okay. Um, Facebook page. I have a closed group, Wind Down with Melanin Uncorked. I be trying to get niggas to talk in there, but niggas be nigging, and they don't be liking to talk sometimes. I just we oh, you know what? I just I'm about to come and call some hell. <laughs> <laughs> nah, I'm gonna add you, AJ. Yeah, we all jumping right, in there now. Add us all, all in right. there. It's lit. So yeah, thanks for having me, y'all. Oh, we. Oh, thanks for showing up. Yeah. You know how we do it. We know we a team. Everybody. We doing this I know we've been saying this for a little bit, and we finally made it happen. <laughs> finally made it happen. You know, you can catch us on all major podcast platforms. All Three man them. weed. Instagram three man weave underscore same as Twitter. Um, email us at podcast dot three dot man dot weave at gmail dot com. Three man weave that's melon in our court. Mm-hmm. It's lit. Doing things you can't believe. It's the three man weave. We come at you with topics. Yeah. No, you cannot stop it.